All right, today we're going to talk about something what I think is pretty serious. We're going to talk about two-tier policing. A lot of people in the UK think it exists, other people think not. I'm wondering people that thinks it happens every single day. So you bet you're wondering, what is two-tier policing? What is going on? Is, is it just a made-up freeze? Nah, nah, I promise you, it's not. It's a serious thing what goes on. You can notice in the offices in the UK, the target certain individuals more than others for example if the group is muslim they tend to be a lot nicer towards them more lenient but if the group is christian or white they tend to be more hands-on i personally don't think it's the officers fault themselves i believe they're receiving orders so i can understand where they're coming from we've had a lot of protests going on in the last week from all different sides from the left and the right in the news they call it the far right but i don't think it's the far right i think it's just concerned parents there's been marching called enough is enough and the police tackle them marches and protests with violence but when it comes to different groups different ethnicities they tend to behave a little different there's a clip going around reporting on some protests in birmingham community leaders have been speaking to the police as well because Free Palestine, fuck Idi Amin. But I think, apologies for the language you're hearing, but a sense of the right. anger, I think you can Casey. hear there. Yeah, Casey, I think we... Becky, I apologise. We uh, need to um, leave you there, and uh, um, Becky, um, we'll have security there, and uh, um, we will leave that, and I apologise once again uh, for the language there. For saying that, you know, the people are angry, for saying that the far right are racist, and things like that and you know the far right is dangerous and it's ironic because half of them in the background are stuck with ballets on like they're gonna do something and then one of the guys pulls up an electric bike so on and he starts shouting swearing at the camera saying free palestine free palestine the woman looks scared in it but she probably voted for all that and then they cut back to the news presenter mumbling his words he doesn't know what to say it's all backfired these men have no life these men have no jobs they've got nothing going for them so we just stood about in ballets in motorbikes in rented audis acting like big men fighting for something that don't exist saying that they're gonna f up the edl when they come the edl haven't existed for years I know they started their own thing, the MDL, Muslim Defence League, sort it out. I bet the police are not going to look into that either. It's disgusting how the United Kingdom is falling in England, in Wales, in Scotland, in Northern Ireland. You can see, and the Republic of Ireland, all of it's falling. And the people, the citizens, can't do nothing about it. <laughs> You see here, yeah, they're smashing up the pub like idiots. Bear in mind, yeah, this pub has nothing to do with anything. It's just a normal pub on the road. A normal pub and they start smashing up the pub, attacking people just because they're white. If that's not racism, I don't know what is. I'm not really the type to pull the racism card, but that's a bit out of order. They're taking the piss there, sorry for swearing, but it's out of order. Who do you think you are? Going up to pubs, family owned places, and start smashing it up, smashing windows. These type of pubs are kid friendly, so they've probably got kids inside, and they're smashing up pubs, or they're probably kids inside. All the teens doing it, ballad up, thinking they're bad. I promise you, they're not bad. And the reason I've decided to actually make this video is because I'm looking in the news and there's nothing reporting it what's coming out of Birmingham. The hate what's coming from there. There's no reports on it. The only thing you can get is Twitter. That's not even actual media accounts like Sky News, um, ITV News. We're not reporting on it. We're trying to hide the fact, yeah, but they're violent too. It's not just the right wing, it's the left wing as well what's violent. I'm just really confused why there's not a single officer of there for smashing things up, speeding, ballied up, antisocial behaviour, weapons. Not a single police officer. You tell me anywhere else that would happen and you get to get away with it. If this ain't two-tier policing, then you must be blind. You must be ignorant. It's absolutely stupid. I'm saying everybody, just be careful out there. I feel like there's a civil war coming and this two-tier policing ain't gonna stop anytime soon. Right, bless, I'm out. Make sure you like and subscribe.